hello guys welcome back to my channel and happy 2022 it is january and it is time to do a reset for the year i am filming this video at nighttime because i do my best thinking at night i got on my comfy gmes these are from nap loungewear i think i've talked about them before they are so soft super comfortable really really love them they're real silk so they are on the little bit pricier side but in my opinion completely worth it so i got my little pajamas on and i'm ready to do a reset for the new year so in this video we're just going to be doing my budget so i'm gonna just be updating it i already looked over everything i just need to like do some little tweaks and so you guys will see like my actual budget for this month and i need to like write down some goals and do my vision board and I'm going to tell you guys what new reads that I have because one of my goals is to continue reading. You guys know that I have been reading since September, since I quit my old job, and I have been loving a good book. So I'll tell you guys what I'm going to be reading this month and just do all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in these type of videos, please make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. And let's get on into the video. How to keep the human tell you exactly what I want for myself for 2022 I have some goals I actually didn't really know what I wanted to accomplish this year and I think that's okay I think we put too much pressure on ourselves to know exactly what we want to accomplish before January 1st of the new year but I think it's okay to just write things as they come to mind or as you figure out what you want to do with your life it is okay to not have anything, everything together. I'm 25 years old. I don't have shit together. I am just a normal human being who is just trying to figure out the 20s and getting through this adulting stuff. So yeah, some of my goals for this year is I definitely do want to save a lot of money. Um, this year, my specific savings goal is to save $10,000. I really think I can accomplish it with just some hard work and determination focus and like stop pulling money out of my savings because I'm trying to save for a house and I do want to buy a house in Atlanta um, maybe within the next couple of years so I definitely want to have some money saved up for that and I just want to just sit on that capital I don't even know how much it costs to buy a house I just think 20,000 or something is a good amount for like a first time home buyer I probably don't even need that much I don't know. I don't know anything about the home buying process. I just know that I need some money to buy a house. So I definitely want to save 10000 this year, 10000 next year, and then look for a house um, probably the following year. I also want to pay off all my credit card debt. If you guys have watched my other video, um, my budget video, you guys know that I did get a personal loan to um, pay off credit card debt. And I did use that loan. I actually have one more payment on that loan this month but i got myself into more credit card debt because of bad spending habits and just being terrible with my money i'm really trying to kick the credit card habit in the ass and leave it in 2021 and before i also want to do some international travel this year so you guys know i like to travel a lot um, my most recent trip was to tulum in october for my birthday and I will be traveling internationally for my friend's birthday very soon in April. We're going to Perry and I'm so, so, so excited. So I definitely have that on my vision board, my goals. And yeah, that's something that I put on my goal list that I know is actually going to happen because the trip is already booked. 
and ready. I just need to get on that plane so we can go and I'm super excited. Fourth and most important thing, I don't know why I didn't say this first, but I obviously want to reach 25,000 subscribers. I am on the way there. We have 10,000 left to go, but my channel has been like it's very slowly growing and not like quick as it was before. Um, obviously, because I'm just still trying to find my group on YouTube, see where I fit in, see, see what you guys want to see, like trying to find my newer audience that are interested in the things that I'm interested in. So things like this, like recess and productivity, work blogs, stuff like that. That's kind of like my life right now. So that's kind of what my channel is going to be focused on, traveling, um, self-care, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm just trying to find my little niche and like really dig into what I want my channel to be. I'm kind of rebranding everything. If you guys can see, I got a new icon. I got some professional pictures done. My media kit is updated. It's looking good. Like I'm trying to be more professional and just have my ish together on this channel. But yes, I want to hit 25,000 subscribers. So if you guys are watching this and you're not subscribed, help me reach that goal by hitting that subscribe button down below, leaving a like on the video. Next, I want to I want to be promoted to an IC2 at work. So if you guys know, I recently started my job probably at the end of November. November 29th was my first day of work. So I've been working for about a month and I want to be promoted to an IC2 role. And IC2 is an implementation consultant level two. I'm an implementation consultant level one right now. And I really like my job and I do see myself staying here for a little bit. So I do want to be promoted. Um, I know it's very much possible based on everything that we uh, have talked about and in our meetings, like a lot of people get promoted within like six to 10 or six to 12 months. So if I can get promoted within that first year, that would be super ideal for me. And then to work fully remote um, once I decide to move to Atlanta. So yeah, I'm super, super, ready and ready for the challenge and I was going to be difficult but I am so 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 ready to get my feet off the ground in this job and just see how much success I can bring in this new industry I'm just like on go mode like this turned out I absolutely love how it turned out it looks so good some of my quotes say financial control is damn liberating because I want to get out of debt and just be better with my money this quote says I am prepared for and welcome new challenges and I love this quote because I definitely do want to be promoted and I just want to challenge myself in every single aspect um so I love that then I have says today is a milestone it tells you how far you've come keep learning keep trying keep accomplishing and keep venturing through your journey so i love that then i put my little banner here so this is what you see when you come to my youtube channel but i just put 25k subscribers because this is what i want to see by the end of the year this will be a huge goal and huge milestone for me so i'm super like liberated and motivated to get here because this is just one of my major major goals and um i just want to grow my channel my business um then i just have like some cute pictures very aesthetically pleasing so i have a couple brunch pictures because your girl loves a good brunch and i want to be brunching this year like even though i'm trying to save like i still want to have some good food so i got some um, brunch pictures, some mimosas here, you know, the little brunch photos. Here I have this girl on a yacht because I'm trying to be on somebody's beach, obviously, at some point. I have some townhomes here because I do want to buy a house in Atlanta and I 
I'm thinking about going the townhouse townhouse route. So I'm starting to save for this goal and accomplishment. So I just have this here just to remind me that I don't want to be renting like after like the next couple of years. Like I want to be buying a home and I just want to save and get that together. So this goes hand in hand with this because I got money to save. Definitely want to be saving a whole bunch of money and just being better and not being so like frivolous with my coins. Definitely just want to uh, have more money in my pocket. Here we got some travel things. So I got the skiing girl because this is how I'm trying to be. You see this? This is how I'm trying to be this year. I'm trying to be on somebody's ski hill, ski resort in a cabin like this. Super cute. Trying to be on that type of vibe. Got the little plane up here for traveling. And I got the Paris Eiffel Tower here because this is where my international trip will be. Super, super excited about that. Then here I have the city of Atlanta because this is where I'm trying to move probably by the end of 2022 or beginning of 2023. I'm definitely trying to move to ACL. That's kind of my goal. Then here, uh, it got cut off. I need to kind of fix this. But here's the Kindle and here's some coffee. So this is just like an aesthetic picture of reading. But I do have some books up here as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to read like at least 12 books. And uh, some of these books actually do look interesting. So I might try some of those books that are in this photo. But here I just have a picture that is on my Instagram that I took. Um, but it is just of my productivity planner, my camera, my laptop, just stuff to keep me motivated for YouTube and on my brand and on my business. And I think that's it on here. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. But yeah, this is kind of my vision board. This is how it looks. I just think it's so pretty. And I am so excited and motivated to accomplish all my goals this year. And every time I open my laptop, I am reminded of what I want to do and what I want to accomplish this year. So I'm super excited to just see everything come into fruition and hopefully we can stick to everything. update my every dollar so where I keep my budgeting is in the every dollar app this is what I usually use um, it is by Dave Ramsey um, and I really love this for when I actually um, am serious about budgeting so when we log in this is the page that it brings us to and it's kind of all set up based on like what I currently expect for January so I really like the every dollar app because it just gives me a pretty much an overview I don't like to like nitpick about my budget I still like if I want to buy something and it's necessary then I will buy it I don't like to be like super super strict because I just think that's not a healthy way to have a relationship with money it's just like a general overview so I'm just gonna see like what's in my Google Sheets real quick and add it into my every dollar all right, you guys, so this is my every dollar budget for January 2022. It's not much. I don't make that much money, but here is my income. I expect to make around $4,000 this month. Um, as the months go on, I definitely hope to be making more um, as I get more money, more brand deals, more, um, you know, views and everything on my channel. Um, but anyways, for my job, I expect to get $1,300 twice, so I have two paychecks, and I will make around $1,300 net after everything has been taken out of, after my 401k submission or deduction has been taken out, after all my taxes and everything. Um, this is what I expect to net and bring home, and I 
have my YouTube revenue. So I usually average about $500 on YouTube. Um, so I don't make that much money, but I still make good money for like the amount of subscribers that I have. And this obviously is just AdSense. It's not including sponsorships or brand deals. So this is just kind of, this number varies. So I just put a number here just to have something. Um, and then my boyfriend pays me the his half of the rent, which this month was super high because we had gas and electricity and all that um, from Christmas decor and from the heat because it's super cold here. So our rent was like nine fourteen each. So he sends me his half of the money, then I just go ahead and pay it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what my income is for January. Then as we go down, I don't have any giving um, amount because all my giving was done in December. So I don't plan on like spending any money on birthdays or anything this month. Um, but yeah, for my emergency fund, I'm trying to save up to $825. And where I'm getting this is from my notes. I'm doing the $5,000 savings challenge and I put it here. So I've already done week, I've already started the challenge in December. So this is kind of what the challenge looks like. If it will focus, are we gonna focus? But week one was $50, week two was $195, week three, $75. I've done week four and saved $205 so that just went to the bottom and so on and so forth but these are kind of like what after I get to week eight I believe um, I will be at the 800 something mark so that's where I got that number from but I'm just keeping track of it in my notes so I can actually do the $5,000 savings challenge twice. So I'm doing it for the first half of January or first half of 2022. And then I'm gonna try to do it again the second half of 2022 to make my $10,000 goal. So that's kind of what where I'm gonna be at in, at the end of January. Um, I've already saved 230 so far. I've put $230 aside um, out of that um, goal. So hopefully we can get to the mark okay moving on to housing costs i have my phone bill here for january which starts over which is 105 dollars. i actually don't have a phone bill every month because i have mint mobile which has been a life saver for me i've been using them for like the past year or two i think this is like my second or third year using their service and they have not done me wrong. They're like a spinoff of T-Mobile. So they're like their sister company or something. Um, but they just give you like individual plans. So you only have to pay like every quarter or like every year, whatever you decide. Um, so I choose my plan for every quarter. So I only pay my phone bill four times a year. So I pay my phone bill of $105 four times a year instead of paying this much which was my T-Mobile bill every single month, which is ridiculous because I'm only one person. I don't need to be spending that much money on a phone. So I love Mint Mobile and they do have deals. I think I can link my code in the description box. So if you guys are interested in switching to their service, we can both save some money. Um, so I can definitely link that down for you guys. Um, but yeah, that is my phone bill cost. Then I have my rent, which is nine fourteen for this month, which has already been taken care of and paid. Everything else was super expensive. Like internet had a service cost, like a service fee for the start of the new year, which was so annoying. So it was $74 when it's usually like 50 something. Yeah, so internet was like $74, gas was like $73 and electric was $70. So this is kind of like our housing costs, but obviously we do split um, this. This is just kind of what, it all comes out of my account. So I just add the whole thing um, into here. Then I don't have a car note, thankfully. My car is paid off in full. So that is at zero. And I just pay like 50, 60 maybe dollars for gas. I don't really go that, <laughs> go anywhere besides the gym and to get groceries because we, 
I work from home, so I don't really have to put that much gas in my car. So I just put $50 there just in case. For food, I put groceries at $200 for the month. Um, this is basically what I will pay and then my boyfriend will pay the other 200 or however much his half is whenever he buys the groceries. But when I buy them, this is what it is. And I'll buy them like maybe the first and third week of the month and it'll be maybe like $100 each trip. And then for restaurants, obviously, I'm not going to stop eating out, but I do want to eat out less. So I put my budget at $100. And if I go um, above that, then I got to cut back in other areas. So, yeah, I still have money to like live my life and have fun. So I put $100 at restaurants. And for lifestyle, I still have my subscription. So I have like my Netflix, my Hulu, my Disney Plus. And I think that's it. I think that's all my subscriptions, but I have to double check that. But I believe um, it's around $50 a month. I put clothing at zero for this month because I don't want to be buying any clothes. I bought a bunch of stuff um, in December and before, so I don't really need anything else. But, you know, we'll see. <laughs> I put $200 in miscellaneous, so maybe if I want to see a top or something, that I want that I can use some of that money but this is mostly for like period stuff like deodorant lotion you know just like miscellaneous items that might come up through the month that I may need and my self-care is really for me and my nail need and my hair need <laughs> so uh, if I need to get my hair done I'm gonna use that money and if I need my nails then that is what's kind of in the budget for that for self-care and those things are expensive and I'm cutting out waxing by doing waxing myself I think I talked about this in my last video but I'm doing sugar waxing myself and it has helped so much so yeah my car insurance my car insurance is around a hundred and two dollars and then we have my credit card, which I'm planning on paying $500 to my credit card this month just to like get some of that paid off. And then student loans are in forbearance right now. So I have that at zero and travel. I have that at zero because I'm not going anywhere. So that's kind of what my January budget is looking like. So this is how everything is looking. I got the red is my savings so hopefully i'll be saving around a thousand dollars probably over that because my 401k and my roth is not included in these savings because those are taken out of my check before i get my check got my housing costs got my transportation here three hundred dollars for food including groceries and restaurants lifestyle is around six hundred fifty dollars this is basically just for my self-care and things that I want to do just so I can make sure that I'm still having fun in life. Then we got my insurance, which is just car insurance. I'm still on my dad's health insurance. And I do pay dental insurance, but that is taken out of my check as well before I get it. And debt, $500. So yeah, that's kind of what my income and everything is looking like. So this is my budget for January and hopefully... Um, if you guys like this portion of the video, I will do an updated budget every single month so we can see how my income fluctuates and how um, we're doing because I'm going to do a review every single month and redo it again for February, March and so on and so forth. Another thing that I'm doing to keep organized for 2022 is to have everything color coded in my Google Calendar. So it's going to be super important to me to just stay on track with everything YouTube and content related. So that's kind of what I use my YouTube calendar for. I'm going to show you, I'm going to speak about it on my phone, but you guys will see it on the screen. But you guys will see it on the screen as I'm talking about it. But basically I have my work training. So usually I do work training from 10 to 4. So I color code that in purple and that's just every single day, Monday through Friday. So that's what I have there my orange slash red tab is my um filming days so that is what i do to film so obviously i'm filming today on tuesday january 4th 
um, this video that you're watching right now and I'm gonna have it try to have it edited and posted by tomorrow so I can stick with a Sunday to Wednesday schedule I might switch it later to like a Tuesday Thursday schedule but since I posted a video on Sunday I'm gonna do Sunday Wednesday for now and see how that works um then I have like this greenish lime color for the days that I post a video. I have in red my appointment. So I have a hair appointment on Saturday and I have another hair appointment on the 22nd. So um, yeah, I keep those in like a red little tab just so I can keep track of my appointments, things that I have to do. I do have other appointments coming up, so I'll just keep track of everything. But basically, this is my content and appointment calendar, just so I can stay organized and just keep myself presentable and upkeep with my YouTube channel. So that is how I'm staying organized with work and everything, work work and content work. So I kind of just have everything organized here. And I really, really love my Google Calendar because I just think it's pretty. <laughs> All right, you guys, so you know that I have been loving a good book recently. So I got my Kindle here and my brother gifted me this Kindle for my birthday in October. And I have been loving reading on here. It's super lightweight. It's the paper white version. So I feel like I'm still reading a book. I just use my little stylus and just flip through the pages. And it's easy. Like if I don't know what a word means, I could just like click it, like hold my stylus on the word. And it just tells you the definition right then and there. You can make notes on it if you're like using it for like a devotional, which I do have a devotional on here for this year. Um, so yeah, I can make notes on it. It's super, super nice. I really love it. It's just like a really nice te technology piece that I didn't know that I needed. So yeah, I got my Kindle. So we're going to open it up and see what books I have for January. I'm still reading my book that I talked about a couple weeks ago. Um, my a fictional book called Addiction. I am about halfway through that and I plan on finishing that book this year. Um, so that book is right here. This is the addiction book. I also just downloaded the uh, a book called I Am Watching You. So after I finish that, I plan on starting that. And it is a fictional book. And then for my self-help book, I got the Atomic Habits book by James Clear. And I just hear like super good reviews this book has like 58,000 five star reviews so i just am really intrigued so this is going to be my self-help book for the first quarter um i give myself more time and grace to read self-help books because obviously they're supposed to be mindful and helping you grow and elevate your life and self-help books just take me a little bit longer to read because they're not as thrilling and interesting so I'm going to be reading this one for the first quarter and we'll see how we are like in February or March and see if I finish it by then. But yeah, that's kind of what I got. But it's basically about forming new habits, becoming better with yourself, becoming better in your life um, and just having a better becoming a better version of yourself. So yeah, I'm super excited to read that as well. Those are kind of my January reads. If you guys want to like continue the segments, I can tell you like how my books are going um, in my resets every single Yeah, month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different for me. I don't, I'm, I don't think I've ever done like a, a monthly reset, but I think I'm going to start doing them just so I can keep myself on track and keep myself accountable for my goals. And for anybody interested in watching who is interested in keeping me accountable, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what your goals are too. I want to see what you guys have in mind for this year. We have a lot of time and space to grow and develop, accomplish all the things that we say that we will. So I am really excited for 2022. I know it's great things, beautiful things, inspiring and motivating things to come. So I hope you guys subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and hit give this video a thumbs up as it helps me so much with the YouTube algorithm. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.